Congratulations, you've made it to week 12 of the Healthy Heathcote 90 Day Challenge. I'm here again with Emily. Hello, Emily. Hi, Lee. How are you? I'm good. It's been a long trip, but we're finally here. <laughs> so those who have been participating in the 90 Day Challenge should by now be feeling absolutely jumping out of their skin with health. <laughs> so what we're doing today, Emily? We're talking about salt. Salt. Yep, so one last thing just to finish this off. So it's not, not, a, not a difficult one, should be pretty easy. Um, so salt, we actually do need salt in our bodies. Um, we use it to balance fluid, we need it for our nerves to work properly, for our contraction and relaxation of our muscles. Um, it is really, like, we do need it, it is important. Um, our kidneys are really good at balancing it. So if we have, if our salt is low, then our kidneys hold on to it, and if our salt is high, then it excretes more. And that's a proper normal function. The problem is, is when we have way too much salt in our diets, the way the kidneys excrete the salt is by increasing the blood pressure so that more blood goes through. And if you increase your blood pressure over a long period of time, we all know that that's not very good. Not ideal. Yeah, so that can have lots of problems, at least a stroke and heart failure and coronary um, diseases and stuff. So we do want to keep our blood pressure down. So that's the main issue with salt, is increasing blood pressure. And one of the other problems is, once you've increased your blood pressure due to salt, it's really hard to actually decrease it, even if you decrease your salt intake. So you might say now, well, I don't have high blood pressure. It's actually really important to make sure you never get high blood pressure because it can be very difficult once it happens. So mm -hmm. we, wanna, we do want to be proactive about this and start now. So the average Australian um, actually consumes about 10 grams of salt, which is equal to 4,000 milligrams of sodium. The recommended amount of salt is 4 grams of salt and 1,600 milligrams of sodium. So it's quite a lot less. And I do have some examples to show how easy it is to go above the recommended amount. So Nutri-Grain, I've already just Nutri-Grain, so we'll keep going there. Um, Nutri-Grain, a cup of Nutri-Grain has 144 milligrams of sodium in it, so not a great start to the day. If you were to have... Um, actually, go to this one. So if you were to have a sausage, say you stop by Bunnings or a friend's barbecue, that's about 600 milligrams of sodium. And then to put some sauce on it, there's another, this one's actually 164. So we're, we're already creeping up there. If you were then to have this for dinner, one serving of this is over 500 milligrams of sodium. So that's, you're already at your 1600. If you were to go to this very healthy looking option because you wanted something quick for dinner this has over 900 milligrams of sodium in it so and all of these they actually look healthy this has the heart foundation tick this has four stars this has three and a half stars on the health star rating so it's really confusing so you really do need to check the labels uh, of your foods well again i think we're getting back to if you're buying pre-packaged processed yeah. foods you're going to cop whatever they put in it where yeah. if you cook it for yourself and not everyone's able to do that, but if you can, it's much, much healthier. Yeah. So we really, we really, if you, yeah, if you're going to buy things, you really do want to check the labels if, if you have to go there to a processed food. So, um, because yeah, they can be misleading. Mm -hmm. So, and, and so that's all we're going to do for the, for the next week. So we just want to cut down on our salt intake. So we've so, already, we've So look at our packaging for a start. Just check, check your packaging and what you're using check already your in, your, in, in yep. your cupboards. Make sure that there's the salt levels. And if it is high, yep. what, recommend them just to cut, cut them out or chuck them out. Yeah, just, yeah, just chuck them out really, yep. Um, and then so, and then decrease restaurant food. Restaurant food can be really high in, in, in salt, we all know that, that's why it tastes so good. Just try to, we're, we're, we're all gonna get takeaway on occasion, it's gonna happen, we're gonna go out to restaurants, but just try to decrease how often you do that. Um, and definitely try not to buy the, yeah, the, the pre-processed ones. Mm -hmm. And when you make dinner at home, um, use some spices and some herbs and stuff, try not to just, Try not to throw salt on it. Mm. So yeah, and keep up, keep up that. So um, and the processed meats. So we already talked ages ago about other reasons why you shouldn't be eating processed meats. So really try to get rid of those, and hopefully they're gone. Um, your packaged food, takeaway food, and um, yeah, um, I was just going to suggest to everyone that they make a diet diary of what they're eating now, and you can compare that to what you were eating in the beginning because I bet it's a lot different, and you can see the changes that you made and how far you've gone. And that's what it's all about. Healthy Heathcote started with just changing a little, few little things in your, in your life to, to make a better, better lifestyle. And if you are doing what we've been recommending, by now you should be absolutely doing backflips and jumping yeah. out of your skin. Hopefully, yeah. So what we want to do is try and hear from a few of those, those people that are making some, some real changes in their life, and, and we'd like to hear the stories. Give us the recipes, give us the background on what, what you are like and what you're like now, and that'll be fantastic. Yeah. 
so that's that's it. That's our that's our last video. So I just wanted to say congratulations also to everybody. If you've you've made it this far and you've kept up with us, then yeah, again, hopefully you're feeling fantastic. Um, and if you do are you do still have some questions or some issues, there are a lot of sort of health problems. People can have major health problems that aren't going to be fixed by these simple changes. Um, you can give me a call and we can we can chat one on one about those things. But hopefully everyone's doing really well. And just to remind everyone that we did it little steps at a time so that it would become a lifestyle change so these become habits rather than a diet so we don't want you to go back tomorrow and just or next week and just do exactly what you were doing 90 days ago we want you to just keep just keep going and just keep feeling great and keep exercising and eating well and and then you'll live longer and you'll live a healthier life fantastic thank you very much emily no thank you for for doing these 12 videos with us it's greatly appreciated anybody that does need any advice i advise, I advise heavily that we you, you talk to emily now i've got to also thank the people from tumbling waters retreat for allowing us to, to do this series of videos here without their help um, it wouldn't have been able to uh to be accomplished i'd also like to thank my staff and Anne england for all her hard work um, to allow this to uh to, to come about. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, you're going to be hearing about an event which will be coming up just after the, the 90 day challenge is finished. So I look forward to seeing you all at that event. Thank you.